Hey guys, it's me. I'm back. I know what you're thinking. What the fuck? Why is he here? I told him to go away. Stop uploading shit on YouTube. I know. I'm really sorry. What am I doing with my hands? I don't know. Let's just do the YMC. <laughs> you can't see that. Anyway. Yes. I'm back. He's back. Yes. I am back, gamers. Dab. 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 Still epic. Yeah. So as you can tell from the title, this is an epic, epic vlog I did while I was in Tenerife. Why did I film the vlog? Ugh. I felt like it. When we were, you know, about to go on holiday, it was I think the day or two before, I thought, I'm going to vlog this. And I did. So this is my holiday and you know i've tried to put in effort this time i've put in you know editing i've done proper editing it's not just clips mashed together i've done fun i like it so far so good we will see yeah anyway i like it uh what do you guys think do you like it do you like this video or not why am i asking you at the beginning of the video no, I don't know. Anyway, um, what do you guys think? Comment below. Um, God, I hate doing that. I literally, I've had a rant about the YouTubers doing that. Anyway, let's stop that before I start ranting. Then we go on to a rant time, and it's not rant time yet. We'll get to rant time. Anyway, YouTube, enjoy the video. I put in effort this time. Bye, guys. Also, before I go, I forgot to mention. Also, I um I will be doing another video at Comic Con with um with Lewis, and when we go to London Comic Con together, um because we've decided to do that, so that will come in the future at some point. Um, but I won't say when, because when I announce stuff, it doesn't happen for ages. <laughs> like this video, for instance. Anyway, I didn't announce this video, though, because I'm wise. I'm very wise, man. <laughs> I'm a very wise man. <laughs> anyway, enough rambling. You guys enjoy the video. I put in effort. Please, like it. <laughs> Please like the video if you don't. I'll die. No, this isn't going to be one of those videos where I beg for likes. Please, God, if I, if I don't ever let me become one of them YouTubers that beg for likes. I'm doing this because I enjoy doing it. Not because I'm doing it for likes. Anyway, um, enjoy the video, guys. in the morning and on our way to Tenerife and I mean we'll see how much of this I get through um, filming this thing uh, but for now I thought it was a fun idea to vlog stuff not really vlog with my family before so I'm not sure how my dad's gonna react but we'll see anyway um See you in a bit, guys. Um, when we're on the road. Uh, I'm very tired. No, you, 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 you go. You go. I've just been thinking, actually. Um, I just realised this is my first holiday abroad since I did that one video with. Um, Aiden, when I went to Paris, when I went to Disneyland and in France and whatnot. So this is my first holiday abroad since then. So yeah, it's been a little while. It was pretty locked down. So we'll see. I mean, I know I know that Spain's usually more strict when it comes to stuff, but I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I 
I just clip to something. I probably won't be allowed to take my Gatelands on to customs for security. I'll probably have to put them in my bag. Ugh, we'll see. I'll ask my dad what he thinks. Dad said he thinks it, it might be okay, but I'm not 100% sure because I don't have fun if they have with food sometimes, so I'd rather not risk it. So it's, in, it's gone in my luggage and I've got a couple with me just to keep me in. Um, so now, and then on the other side of the security desk, there, on, on past the security, there's a, there's a boots. So from there, we'll be good. We can pick up some more. Why am I talking like this? I don't know. <laughs> Thankfully, my dad did get me to take this out of my back. I had a Sprite in there. Um, I'm being stupid. Thinking, oh, let's just put that in, in the luggage. That one gets shook up and go boom at all we <laughs> Yeah. I was being a dum-dum. I was thinking, oh, it'd be something nice to treat myself to on the other end, but yeah, in reality, it's probably just, it just ended up exploding all of my stuff. So, ooh, yeah, I'll, um, I'll just, when, when we're in boots on the other side, I'll pick up something on, on past the security, just to keep me going. Uh, probably the Lucas Aid or something, I don't know. Need my energy, and I don't want a coffee before I go because, fun fact, coffees make me need to poopy. Again, <laughs> well, in the car, I'm the only one in the car at the moment. Just waiting for my dad and my brother. Cousin. Dad told me to get in the car early. Very tired. I'm very tired. <laughs> oh God! As I said earlier, I've never vlogged in front of my family, and I haven't. They haven't seen me doing it yet, and I haven't brought it up with them. So we'll see what they say. Um, I think it's my brother that'd be the most funny, but we'll see. We'll see what we'll see. Anyway, goodbye. I'm gonna pass it on now. <laughs> Well, how are you guys? The hat's back. Because <laughs> um, I'm abroad. Um, so I'm in the room now. Me and my dad are sharing a room. Um, brother's in the room right over there. Um, it's nice. I'm, you know, I'm good. I'm happy. I'm not as, I don't feel sleep deprived right now. Despite the fact that I am. Um, and I know what you guys want. You want the famous Lord McDaddy to her, don't you? <gasps> okay, if you insist, I know you, I know how much you guys love it. So here we go. really done much today. Went to the place. Hello Lois. <laughs> I was just saying, as I was saying, not really done much today, but fun times tomorrow. Going to the zoo. Um, yeah, today was just kind of not getting to know the area. Um, went, went for drinks, had a meal at the hotel. But exciting stuff for tomorrow. But it's nice, it's nice to be back in Tenerife for a long time, but it's nice.
one thing I've forgotten is how careful you've got to be when you're walking along the strip. And, you know, you can't make eye contact with anyone because then they automatically come running over to try and sell you whatever restaurant they're at. Just remember to be careful out there. <laughs> well, good morning, dearest internet user. How are you this fine morning? So, first night. It, um, I had head, I had like um, earplugs in, so. Um, it was my first time properly using earplugs, and I was worried that it was going to be like um, a bit weird. It, it was okay. I, you know, I fell right to sleep. I think I kind of woke slightly um, at some point when my dad went to the toilet, but that's it. Um, yeah. Fun. I mean, the bed's not exactly the comfiest thing in the world, but it wasn't the worst bed I've ever slept on. Yeah. Now I'm just hungry and ready for breakfast. So my, uh, once my dad's had a shower, finished his shower, um, we're going to have breakfast. Whether my brother comes will be another question. He's over on the other side of this wall. He's in the other room. Whether he'll surface, I don't know, but we'll see. I'll try and wake him. Here we go, trailing through the jungle. Hunting. Lost. We're lost. No hope of survival. What will we do? I don't know. Who knows? If we'll ever get out. If you see this message, send help. Please. We have found the Specky Beavers. <laughs> Yet we hunt for antelope. Antelope? Anteaters. Anteaters, darling. Anteaters, always. <laughs> Louis's favourite animals are anteaters. What the hell's going off with them? Look like they're about to have a scrap. Go on, Lord, have a go. Go on, have a go at them. <laughs> That's probably the best way to describe them, really, isn't it? The anteaters that have gone... <laughs> anteaters that have gone punk. Look, it's RJ from the hit DreamWorks film, Over the Hedge. Always nice to meet a celebrity. It's... it's... whatever the one from Brendan Fraser movie was called. <laughs> <laughs> that works too. Well done, Lois. We're going past Lois's pet peeve at the moment. School children. <laughs> I'm gonna stop throwing punches. You're not happy with the school children, are you, Lois? I'm gonna stop throwing punches. <laughs> I think part of the problem is he had like he had a child sat next to him, sat behind him the entirety of the flight, so. It set him off on a bad start to the holiday, didn't it, Lewis? <laughs> um, then when we were waiting to get, wait, when we were waiting in like the kind of, the waiting area, the, before you get on the plane, the waiting area, there was this family with a very, very loud, annoying child waiting for a plane, waiting to get on a plane. <laughs> and you were, you were terrified that the child was going to be on the plane. <laughs> But be honest, Lewis, would you have rather had them on the plane or the child bit that was behind you this kind of flight? <laughs> uh, children. Not nice. Where is it? Where is it? There, that one. That one just nearly pooped on us. <laughs> I, I missed filming it, but that one there nearly had a poop on us. How do you feel? Did, did you get pooped on at all, Aiden? Lewis? I nearly called you Aiden there. Why am I ne- I'm sorry for nearly calling you Aiden. I'm sorry. I, I nearly did the same thing to Aiden the other day. I nearly called him Lewis. I don't know what it is. But between the both of them, I call Aiden Lewis and Lewis Aiden for some reason. Goodness knows why. You look, you look not- He used to call you Minnie and you, you still haven't got over that, have you? I think I fed them once, these. I think I fed them... I think, if I remember rightly, I fed these at Flamingoland once. 
could be wrong. Only the truly fascinating stuff here on my channel. Like and subscribe. Jesus, that made me a very loud bang, but it was just a door. Here it is, what we've been waiting for. Sad orangutan. <laughs> just as sad as last time. <laughs> Look at that sad rhythm there. I'm seeing like the classic depressed Oh god, they're also depressed. <laughs> <laughs> There's one there the inside as well. They're just they're really not happy to be here. Oh He's he's got he's got the get up and go. I reckon he's just playing up for the tourists. Like I remember last time he was at least sad up. Yeah. <laughs> he's just sad. It's just a big sad orangutan, and I vibe with that. If you're wondering why I look a bit different, it's because I'm using my camera today, um, as opposed to my phone. Um, so, if there's anything that looks like different, that's why. Um, right, we're going to be going on the bobsleds in a minute. I won't be able to bring you guys because I don't have, <sighs> I don't have a GoPro, so I can't really bring you with me. Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Here is Editor Elliot. Insert something for the. Insert something fun. I don't know. Editor Elliot, you fix it. <gasps> Hello, guys. I just thought I'd explain this next clip. Um, so, this isn't my footage that you're about to see um, of the bobsleigh. This is footage courtesy of someone called Disconnect Disconnect Records. Um, they will be linked in the description. Um, they kindly let me use their footage of the bobsleigh because I didn't have any of my own. Um, so yeah, um, thank you to Disconnect Disconnect Records and go check their link in the description. Um, yeah, enjoy the footage guys. Y es que 
especialmente con Ejo, que es un... Hello there. Con esa falta de los Restore Family, este día es Restore Coco, Free of the Bird, the Wild, but easy to see, we can easily find Marabu stores, close to the fishing villages, it's not a house, it's a kind of place that's where there's plenty of food, and the bird may take advantage of its little time. Bueno, una vez muy abundante, en la naturaleza y sencilla de ver, que con facilidad podemos observar, junto a los puertos pesqueros, mataderos, lugares donde abunda el alimento, el ave puede sacar partido de su gran tamaño, ya que a pesar de... Bueno, 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 bueno. High octane cro crocodile action. Stupendous. Alligator. Shut up, it's an alligator. And I corrected myself as soon as I said it. High octane alligator action. Stupendous. <laughs> Update on the orangutan. The boy has barely moved. But he's sat up, which is a good thing. So good on him. Oh god, I mean, if <laughs> you remember these from Far Cry 3, horrifying, terrifying creatures who came out of nowhere to end your existence. <laughs> Very scary looking bird. Not ha It's. I think it's planning something. I personally wouldn't trust it. I don't know what it is about these plants, but I just don't trust them. I just feel like they're the classic kind of horror cliche where they're gonna just come and eat you. Jump down and eat you. I mean, look, there's one there. That one, there. It's already eating someone. It's closed up. Full now. Will not be me eaten by them. I can tell you that. <laughs> OMG ape pog. <laughs> 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 Not on. Oh, wait. Right, there we go. <laughs> Finish him. You got, the, you got the view you wanted, Louis. I have the high ground. You underestimate my power. Don't try it. We're back again, and it'll be back to a bit more of normality. Um, how that footage, how much different that footage looks, I don't know because I mean we'll see in the edit, won't we? Um, yeah, it was a good day. So lots of different animals. It's very different. It, I mean, different to how it was last time. Last time I remember they had white lions and white tigers and um, um, which you know they're quite rare and I was surprised that this random Spanish zoo had them and this time they've got no big cats at all strangely enough a lot of different monkeys no cats no elephants no giraffes but of course there was sat around with them. my boy um, might be able to find a photo of like the last, I, I took a photo of the white lion. Um, so if I did, and I found the photo, insert photo here. How's that? Any good? 
Okay. Um, yeah. Anyway, now we're waiting. Um, waiting for my brother to come down. My dad's gone hunting for a way to get to the pool. Um, he's just coming back now. Um, waiting for Lois so we can go get the pool towels. Because you get like free towels with your, from, you know, the hotel for your pool. Um, we've got vouchers that we need to hand in to get them. Because um, we're going to Siam Park tomorrow. Um, so we need them for there. Um, as I've said before, I won't be able to film when I get to Siam Park because I don't have um, GoPro or anything. But you can imagine the fun I'll be having. Um, I don't know, I'll think of something. Well, we'll insert something fun. Um, maybe it'll be more of that fun stuff that Eddie, Editor Elliot inserted earlier with the in, with the bobsleigh bit. Uh, I don't know whether you can tell whether it's obvious at the moment, but my voice is very much gone. <laughs> Your boy has lost his voice. Cause I don't, maybe it's because I was talking today and I already had a sore throat. Um, but thankfully there's a spa near here, so I popped, we popped in there. I got some more lozenges because I was almost out of Jaitman's. Um Got some more of them. Got me a drink. Um, I'm doing better now. Touch wood. Uh, but yeah, we'll just waiting on Lois now. So and then we're gonna go to a we're gonna go get some drinks, I think, and then go on to a tapas place that we've seen along along the sea front. We've seen black and ass place. Um, I don't really know what else to say. But see you in a bit, guys. That's the end of today. It's been a long day, tiring day. And I had a bit to drink. It was fun overall. And tomorrow we go to Siam Park. So that's going to be exciting. It's also exciting to figure it back. Got no idea what I'm going to fill it with for you. But we'll think of something. Um, editor out yet. You know I'm at this point, obviously. So how's it looking? For good? Right, well, we're going to, um, what's it called? Siam Park today. So there's not going to be a lot of filming because I can't film in a water park because I don't have a GoPro or, you know. Eh. Um, anyway, I do have something I need to call out uh, after I remember to do it later. I've had a bit of a Nest Cafe going to be calling you out later for one of your coffee machines uh, it's going to be coming so best prepare get ready next cafe I'm coming for you right I'd like to preface this next bit it kind of explain it a bit because uh, it's going to come otherwise it'd just blindside you out of nowhere and you'd be like no clue what's happening so this next part it wasn't edited by me this was edited by the fantastic official free seven on fiverr i will have them linked in the description they did a great job and um, i had literally no idea what to do for this part of the video to replace i had like a few little ideas but i thought i don't really know what to do um and then suddenly i was walking my dogs and i literally just came up with this idea out of the blue um so yeah i'm not gonna explain what it is you'll see it in a second i don't want to spoil that but i just wanted to say yeah um if you like this part um or if you you know you like the slick editing as i said it wasn't done by me this next part was edited by official free seven i paid for them to do this and they're fantastic and they did exactly what i wanted despite the fact that it was insane and weird and i'm like <laughs> And I'm not making money off this video, but uh, I thought it would be funny, and I like it. Um, I'm really happy with how it came out. So, as I say, if you like it, go send them some love, and you know, pay pay them, pay them money, make do thing, 
Yes, good. Thank you. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys, and enjoy this part. It's great. I am disgusted by this content. It makes me wanna... Whoa! <laughs>
If I'm an idiot and you can cancel that machine, tell me in the comments, you know. But, you know, it'll make no difference, because by the time you've seen this video, I'll not be in Spain anymore. Because, you know, it is currently, as of filming, it is the 14th of April today. Um, and obviously I'm not uploading it while I'm here, I'm going to edit it and upload at home. Um, so yeah. I mean, you can rant and rave at me, all, but as I say, I'll be at home uh, by the time this is being edited. Um, I mean, it, it also puts in perspective how long it is, because obviously you can go into the comment, into the, into the description and check when it was uploaded, so you know how long I took editing this, how long I procrastinated. I don't know why I said that like that. Yeah. Anyway, I need to go have a shower, come back from Zion Park, and I'm going to get off these clots. I want to get clean. I got tongue-tied there for a minute. Yeah. Anyway. Tomorrow, me and Louis are going on a boat whale watching. So that's going to be exciting. And I'll bring along the nice camera, the big funky camera. We'll do stuff with that. And then... We'll going back to Siam Park on Sunday, so Elliot, you're going to have to figure out something else fun for that, Editor Elliot. No. And why am I doing all this work for myself? <laughs> I'm making a load of work for myself in the future, but the thing is I want to put in effort in this video. I don't want it to be like my past travel vlogs. I want to put effort in. I want... I mean, it's not going to be high quality. But it'll be of some kind of quality rather than poopy quality. Maybe we'll get... Maybe we'll do some funny full mon funny montages. Like, the you know, the kind of... The, the relaxing montages to funky music. Like what you get in the normal holiday vlog and stuff. Or I could just, you know, grab the video that Internet Historian did with Sumito Media and put my own face on Summit. <laughs> but I get cancelled for that. Probably. Let's not do that. Maybe we'll, fi we'll find something fun. Anyway, as I say, I'm putting in effort for these stuff now. How much effort? We'll see, in the, well, I'll see when I get to editing it. Oh, pardon me. Anyway, I'm going to have a shower. You can't come with me, so I'll see you later. So pinky man, easy boy. I'm quite drunk. Sorry. Shouldn't be filming when I'm drunk, but I am. Um, yeah. I'm in a toilet right now. Anyway, yeah, we're at, a, we're at a place called, I think it's called White Sands. It's a tapas place. It's nice. They're doing nice tapas. Much nicer than the tapas we had yesterday. I feel like I'm quite weak, weak wills in that respect. I've got drunk on two sides. Two and a half. I've drunk half the third one. But I have been drinking them for a drop off. So. Um, that's probably why I'm drunk, because, you know, it makes it more concentrated. I think I've heard that before. There'll be some weird fact finder on the internet, I'll go, Actually, I think you find it. <laughs> Calm the fuck down, on it. You're an internet fact finder. And you're smelly. <laughs> Go away, Mel. Hi, guys. Um, it, I was going to say good morning, but it's not really morning. Morning. No. It's actually 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, but I've been... I don't know, I'm not really doing anything. Well, we're on our way to the boats today. Um, now, the boat leaves in about 15 minutes, and me and Louis are... Helping to get there. 
on time. Fashionably late as always. I just snapped at my group chat for the place I work um, because they keep on messaging people and then one of them said, fine, if none of you are gonna reply and come in, I'm not gonna help you when you need it. So I snapped back a bit and I'm hoping that doesn't get me in trouble. Oh God, we'll see. Anyway, yeah, I've got the nice camera in my backpack. Um, we're gonna go see some big fishies, aren't we, Lewis? Yes. Right. I know. Me and my 40 subscribers. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure all the most of the 40 subscribers are people I used to work with. And then there's Aiden. Thank you, Lewis. I know you. <laughs> Lewis quite regularly posts on my videos whenever I do like one of those weird meme edits. Always trying to keep me humble by going, where is the funny or something like that. You keep me grounded, don't you, Lewis? <laughs> oh, gee. Anyway, I'm going to stop filming now so I can focus on getting there. going off on scooters today I just didn't fancy it personally um, those kind of electric rental ones you can get um, and yeah I, so I'm just relaxing today um, I had fun yesterday I enjoyed the, the whale watching with Lewis on that boat it's a lovely area it's a nice pool I'm going to jump in at some point I think but, ooh.
so yeah that kind of gives you a rough idea it is nice i'm gonna read my book for a bit now um harlan coben the match it's a harlan coben book it's by the it's the guy who did um the netflix dramas like um stay close and he's done other ones if you look it up like harlan coben he's done some good netflix dramas and this um this is quite good it's about a man who was who kind of he doesn't know about his past he was um born and then dumped in the woods somewhere as a feral child can't remember where he was born or whatever and um, it's just about finding out about that really um finding out about his past you know mate did i i would say recommend giving it a read it's been very fun i don't really read much unless i'm on holiday when i'm on holiday i just seem to gobble up books um i wish i did read more um i just don't i don't really know why anyway um i'm gonna get on with um sorting stuff now yeah, sorting stuff reading i'm gonna read some bit for a bit now so i'll see you in a bit guys Thanks for asking. Um, uh, so I've just now, more or less like 10, 15 minutes ago, um, finished my book that I was reading. Um, you know, this one, The Victim. I, I'm sounding like I'm sponsored by like Harlan Coben or something. I'm not, I'm not being paid to endorse the book. I am just wanting to say it's really good if you're into kind of mystery um, but um, that kind of stuff is, you know, it's a big mystery. Um, I won't go into spoilers or details. I'll say if you like the kind of gripping mystery stuff, give it a watch. Give it a watch, give it a read. Or if you've seen like Harlan Coleman's stuff on Netflix, um, it's, it's like that. It's very much kind of... Um, twists and turns and you don't really know where it's going to go till the end um a couple of times i think I, I i was like close to figuring out who it was but i was just you know um close to figuring out a few mysteries and then you figure out no you were just slightly off because you're missing some one particular thing um yeah it's really good um definitely recommend it and um, yeah that's it that's all i can think to say um i think dance one time <laughs> well, so we're in this restaurant right now and i don't know whether you can hear it's literally just started stopping playing as i've 
started filming. Um, but they started playing. Can you hear that? We'll see. If not, I'll insert something. Uh, but they started playing lo fi. Um, they're playing lo fi in the restaurant. I like that. A restaurant that just plays like lo fi beats. I mean, yeah, I like that. It's always um, whenever I'm doing my evening studies, it's always my go to. Um, once again, not sponsored. It does help me study. There's something on in the background. I like that. A restaurant that just plays low and beats. Whether it, I think I recognise one or two of them, the sounds, but it's different to tell a lot of that because quite a lot of them sound similar. But yeah, good. Good place. Hmm. Can't remember what the restaurant's called. Um, Sebastian's. Um, restaurant Sebastian is what it's called in Tenerife. I'm um, curious. Right, on my way downstairs now, because we're on our way to um, Sam Park again. I'm hoping future Elliot has something fun planned for the edit again. We'll see. But you best do, future Elliot. Because I can't film anything once again because I don't have a GoPro or any kind of waterproofing. So get it done, boy. So, I thought for this section where I'm meant to be at Siam Park, I would talk a little bit about some of the weird images that I found, like some of the weird images that I took, because there's some weird stuff over in the, <laughs> over on the island um, of Tenerife. Number one, I found this. Yeah. So instantly, looking at that image, you can see the, the the big problem, I hope. Gandhi's Indian? Like, seriously. What the... F what even is that? <gasps> I feel like that's a little bit offensive. <laughs> Just personally thinking. I feel like people might find that a bit offensive. I don't know. <laughs> Just like... What went through someone's head to be? Oh no! Oh yeah! I know. I'll call him Indian, like Gandhi's. <sighs> oh god! There's some weird people in the world, I tell you. <sighs> Let's keep going before I lose all faith in reality. Image number two. This one. Okay. <laughs> Fairly normal looking animal. Sculpture, you wonder what it is. Oh god, no, look at that. <laughs> you see that? Someone was very, very, very excited when they were making that statue. <laughs> and you find these at Siam Park, they're by the. Um, at Siam Park, they're at the beach, um, by the um, big wave pool. And they just sat there, and why? Why is it so thick? <gasps> like it's not needed. <laughs> it's just someone. And there's two of these statues. There's two of them, at least, um, that I saw. <gasps> and they're, it's so weird. They just sat there, just like me. <laughs> I don't get it. But I appreciate it. And now, image number three and image number four. I'm going to go combine these because the image three, four, and five, they're all kind of the same. Um, I found these in a shop. Okay, so we'll just slide through the images really quickly. Yeah. Um, for the... <laughs> for the tasteful tourists, you have... The penis. <laughs> the penis. What? The penis. I don't. I don't even know what the penis is supposed to be. It's just like a glass penis. <laughs> I found these in just a tourist shop. And then obviously you've got the boob, the boob cup, 
the boob shot glass and the abs shot glass. Of course, as well, for <laughs> anyone with taste. I just... Do people genuinely buy these? Like, I feel like you buy these after thinking they were funny gifts, but then you buy them for someone and you realise they will never use these gifts. They'll get a brief chuckle out of them for a minute, put them in a cupboard, and then never use them again. I don't know what the point of them is. I get gag gifts, but then I, I see, like, the short-termness of the joke. It's just, you get this thing, you laugh, and you put it away in a cupboard, never to use it, because it's a gag. It's a joke. I mean, maybe a bunch of horny teenagers would use the fucking boob slash ab slash penis thing. I, I, I'd say use the penis thing. I have no idea what the glass penis is for. If you know what it's for, post in the comments. <gasps> like and subscribe if you want a glass penis. Oh, God. Let's just go on to the final thing on the list. It's a call. Monkey. It's calling. It's your job to answer. Will you answer the call when Monkey calls? Now, literally, this was... I, um, next to our hotel, more or less uh, like a minute's walk from our hotel as our bus was pulling it was like kind of the main thing I saw as our bus was coming close to our hotel we pulled right past this side monkey calling I don't know I think I presume monkey is a DJ or something because it's outside what I think was a club but I just love the idea of he's just like a monkey just picks up the phone and, <laughs> and I know it's a chimp. I know it's a chimp before the comments get angry at me. <laughs> I just love the idea of he's just like chimp just come pick up the phone. So you just answer a hello. <laughs> yes, very good, sir. Thank you. I amuse myself, and that's the main thing. Yeah, I just, I had to talk about these images because I took them, and then I just like, it made me question a lot of things about this, just like, yeah, I don't, I, I don't know what else to say, but, um, thank you Tenerife, had a great time there, and, Jesus Christ, please change the name of that Indian. Okay, guys. Now, back to the video. See you later. Dab. You can go now. Please. Please leave. <laughs> right, so we're in the hotel restaurant right now. And literally, just as I was picking up a meal, um, the crepe maker, like, cooker thing, the crepe cooker, um, you, you get them at, like, stands, um, pancake stands, you know, you get, like, the French crepes, they cook them on the, the kind of circular hob. Um, I don't know the technical term for it, but yeah, um, that Thing that that device um, I'll try and insert a photo here if there is one uh, yeah that device um, one of them here uh, that blew up it just kind of went there was a big bang a loud bang um, just a puff of smoke um, thankfully it was just that thing and nothing was affected nothing else was affected they didn't have to close the restaurant or anything Huh? It's a shame I didn't have my camera. I could have loved that shit, man. I need to be more on the grind. I'm sorry, guys. I'm disappointing you all. Oh, yeah, as I also mentioned, no one was injured in it. Everyone's, everyone is fine. So, yeah. That's why I'm talking about it. Three.
Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Why not doing that again? No. <laughs> anyway, this is, your fault, this, Elliot. Is, this is all Elliot's fault. Yeah. You lost the race it's a dirty today. Gym. And he wouldn't have three. You're supposed to have three gins today. We've yeah, helped him out. We've already had, we've already had one. Yeah. We're, these we're are all meant to be for Elliot. We've helped him out. I wouldn't have survived for it. Morning, guys. How are you doing? It's Monday. And. I'm just kind of waiting for our room to be finished because there's cleaners in there. And obviously, while there's cleaners in there, I can't go in, you know. We just had breakfast. I thought, oh, I'll come back up early so I can put my sun cream on, like I have been doing. Um, this is the second time in a row that I've kind of arrived at the same time as the cleaners. Um, I don't know how long they'll be in there, but I thought, no, it would be a good time now. Since I'm waiting, I might as well film a little bit of an intro for today. It's our last full day, we go home tomorrow. We go home the day before they bring, they get rid of the face mask rule. Which is a weird coincidence, isn't it? It's like the day, it's the 20th when they get, when the no face mask rule will come into effect. Yeah. Anyway, I mean, it doesn't really bother me because having this on hasn't affected me so far. Um, yeah. Anyway, yeah, I've got, we, um, I think the main plan is my dad and Louis are going to go to the gym. Um, so they'll do that and I will hang around the pool and probably read some more Helen Coburn books. Because Harlan Coben, I have got addicted to his, his books. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm also going to attempt to catch up on Doctor Who because I was, you know, Doctor Who was on last night. And I didn't get to watch it, and so far I've avoided spoilers. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to hopefully try and watch that today as well before I go home on to model. Wahoo. Well, hey guys. Sat by the pool now and just I've just finished watching Doctor Who, the latest episode, the Sea Devils. Um it was good. It was alright. Um I don't think it's it's Chibnall era, so it's it's okay personally. Nothing spectacular, but nothing horrible. Um, uh, but yeah, I suppose we just wait for the next one when the Doctor regenerates eventually, finally. Um, I, I mean, I have heard that soon we're going to find out who the Doctor is, the new Doctor. Um, I've heard that it's going to be announced in like the coming weeks or something. Um, oh, it's just a rumor, so I don't know. But we'll see. <sighs> yeah, I enjoyed it, the episode, and um, I thought the Doctor and Yaz seemed the Doctor dealt with it as expected, because the Doctor doesn't have much to watch anymore, like, kind of, you know, the Doctor, they had Rose, and then, um, that was it. Um, they kind of realised, I think, that they should. I think River, but then River was in and out quite a lot, and there were both time travellers. Anyway, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm not really. I don't have an opinion on it either way. It's neutral. We'll just have to see where it goes. Um, yeah. Okay, episode. Done now. I'm going to go back to what I was doing. Back to some reading. Sorry, guys, but apparently I filmed nothing else on Monday, so that's it. That clip ends, and we'll go straight into Tuesday, and then I will rejoin you at the end for the wrap up. So, 
on to Tuesday. Woohoo! Well, good old morning, ladies and gentlemen of the internet. It is Tuesday and it is our last day today. So we are going home at some point today. Um, our plane, um, I think it sets up about uh, three o'clock ish. Um, we're getting the bus about half eleven. The bus comes here about half eleven ish. So. Mm. <sighs> and we land back in the UK about eight, eight or nine ish. So I'm tired again. So I drank last night. So if I drink, then the following day, I always end up tired. I don't know why. Just, as I said before, I don't get hungover. I get tired. And I feel tired today. Anyway, see you in a bit, guys. We're on our way to a plane boarding gate thingy now um, not as much time hanging around as we did before but how hum just a shame we never got to go to Burger King maybe one day I'll get to go back again can't remember the last time I went to Burger King apologies that's not very interesting anyway yeah nearly time for the plane we are back in England and I just wanted to say, when we first came here on last Tuesday, I looked over at that bus over there. Probably not the same one, might be, I don't know. I looked over at it and said, that looks like a transformer. <laughs> oh God, I was legit sleep deprived at the time. And it was like 5 a.m. or something, I don't know. It was funny to me at the time. Well, um, it's about eight, half eight now. Um, we set off. We landed here about eight ish. Um, we set off about half three. I think the, the flight set off at. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not been too bad a flight. It was good, you know. Get to. Um, Lewis now hates the Jess Glynn song that they play. You know, I can't see your face. That one that they play because they play it all the fucking time. Um, so I don't blame Louis for hating it. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna go get in the car now and we're gonna go home. Ah, oh, yes, it feels so good to be back in this country. Good to be off a plane. It's always nice to go on holiday, it's always nice to come back. I would, I would like to thank very much for my trip. I would like to thank so much the employment law team blacks. <laughs> Couldn't have done it without them. Thank you so much. <laughs> it felt so good to see that poster when I got back in Leeds Bradford Airport. <laughs> I just want to imagine you're coming off the it's like your first time coming to England. And you decide to get off, of, you know, you fly to Leeds for some reason. Goodness gracious, why? I don't know, but you are. And this is the first thing you see when you get into an airport. Like, why? Hello, welcome to the, welcome to the UK. We are lawyers. Uh, yeah, but seriously, thank you so much, Blacks. Employment lawyers. Uh, couldn't have done this trip without you. <laughs> Made my day when I got back to the UK, really did. Back home now. And just laying in bed. I have no I, The beds at the hotel were kind of rock hard. I didn't realise how until I got back here how much flipping comfy this bed is not flexing just relieved um i must say doing this whole thing it's kind of brought me back into the love of vlogging again i'm already thinking of ideas to like stuff to what i can do with um the footage and edits and whatnot 
um, so I've got plans in my head um, whether I can put them to, to put them on the screen is another question but we'll see um, I'm gonna go to bed now and um, I'll see you in the kind of proper outro so, yeah, this is the end of the holiday I'll do a kind of big outro wrap up thing um, I'll hand over to Elliot now thank you Elliot for handing over that beautiful tired hand over could you I was so done at the end of that. I was so tired. Um, but I'm okay now. It's been a while since I filmed that last clip. Um, and yeah. I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, did What did you think of it? Let me know. Should I continue doing the YMCA? <laughs> Let me know. You can't see the egg. I, it's the way I'm framing this clip. It's great. Um, like some weird TikTok POV. <laughs> POV, you're a child staring up at me. <laughs> anyway. I'm sorry, Buzz. My dog groaned. Anyway. I hope you enjoyed it. Did it turn out well, this video? I don't know. I haven't finished editing yet at the time of filming. I'm a good boy editor, YouTuber. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Because I probably will have, because that's why I did this. And, you know, I'm not going to do something nowadays if I don't want to do it. It's become painfully obvious on YouTube. I say I'm going to do something. Um, I can't hold myself to it because I just get bored of it. Rant time, I only started doing because I was enjoying ranting because I was passionate about it. And I stopped because it was just the main two things I wanted to rant about were there and you know I never did that conspiracy theory one because I just didn't fancy it I just thought I'm not that passionate about it really the Tommy in it one yeah that was that that I never named names because I didn't want the stands to go after me but yeah for it, it was about fucking Tommy in it specifically no problem with the guy just the fucking hi <laughs> guys most people find me annoying at first <laughs> Anyway, we're not going to get into Tommy in it. <laughs> or maybe we should. I could use him in the tags. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not one of them YouTubers. <laughs> uh, anyway. Thank you for watching, guys. Um, as I said at the beginning of the video, more coming soon. Um, I'm going to do a London Comic Con vlog as well with Lewis. Um... I won't say when because I don't know. It depends on how long this one, how long it would take to edit, how much footage I use, how much effort I decide to put in. But yeah, for right now, I'm enjoying this. This kind of editing process. I'm already, while I was, you know, I, I'm, you know, at the end of that, as I said, that footage, I was coming up with ideas already for certain things because. You've seen them all. My ideas. Were they good or not? I don't know. What are we talking about? My ideas are always amazing. Obviously. Everything I've ever filmed and done. <laughs> is absolutely amazing. Please don't look back at my first videos. Oh god. Uh, this was all a mistake of a channel. But enough about that. I want to thank you again for watching. And... I suppose I'll see you in my next video, whenever that will be. Bye, guys.